Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I'm so sorry if it's a little late or even fixed it up at all. Um, so my running's a little bit behind today, and um, so let's get on what we're doing um, today, I guess. Um, so we're going to play with a little bit of pencil, and I'm not talking about any uh, color pencil. I'm talking about graphite. I'm talking about um, different grades of pencil today, and I'm talking about, um, doing a little, not really demo, but like a speed drawing of doing something in pencil and graphite. I'm not talking about the grades of the pencil or anything, like the values of it, but, uh, I'm just showing you what kind of different sizes. So this is a 5B, and B means the softest, the darkest, um, color, color, uh, gray that you could get. Um, if you want me to go over, you know, different um, avenues and different tricks that I can do with um, graphite pencils, um, that could be a whole different video on its own because they have different values. The darker um, the value is, like this is a 5B, 5B and this is pretty dark. Um, so, uh, when I first started drawing, I was like confused about the grades and everything of the pencil and so this is an F, and this is very light, this is what I will use in the very beginning of my drawing, as you'll see in a minute, and I'll give examples. And this is not a tutorial by any means, this is just a B drawing. So this is an F, um, this is a B, which is kind of not, it's a step down from each B. Um, so this is B, so kind of soft and kind of um, light at the same time. HB is like, I guess, in the middle or something, so kind of like what you get in mechanical pencil world or something like that, but um, this is a 7B, um, as you see here, 7B kind of has thicker lead. Um, my favorite pencil to draw with is a 2B, HB, and something in the middle on there, so you can see a difference between the 5B pencil lead and the 7B pencil lead as well, so, um, my next one is a 3B, uh, which is a step up from 2B, um, so they go like in order, so um, 3B, and then what I like to sketch with sometimes is a 2H, um, so this is not, again, not a tutorial by any means, but this is a 2H, um, we can talk about brands and pencils and things like that in another video as well. Um, so we can definitely do that. But these are my pencils I like to use for my drawings. Um, that are graphite. And yes, um, you can do, uh, realistic drawings as well. And pencil, I've seen amazing pencil portraits. But what I didn't know is that you can do cartoon drawings and shading of pencil as well. Um, so I've been doing that a lot, um, with the graphite. Now I am warming up to... Using graphite for my drawings, but here's the first example of a cartoon pig and how it got the dark shadows and everything like that. Um, building up my tones. No, I do not use a stump or anything. I do not use my finger. I do not use, I used to use tissue to get that blending, but I'm learning to blend on pencil, um, by using pencil alone and not going, you know, um, which is like smudging it, I guess you could say. Um, so that's you know, kind of looks finished there. And then here's a bunny. Uh, I decided to do a bunny one last night. Now, I haven't tried, with these two drawings, I haven't tried my transfer technique on these two. So these two are like 16 minutes um, each. So, you know, kind of like 20 minutes each, I guess. And when I do my transfer technique, uh, what I mean by transfer technique, I take a... Um, like I take a, uh, sketch from my other sketchbook, put it on here, and then put the paper underneath and trace it like that, even though I went ahead and, uh, sketched it out, because this was a smaller size. I want a little bit bigger size for the try. This is what we're going to be working on today, but, so here's the bunny. Um, so this one's a dog, and this one took around an hour or so to do. Just a simple doodle, doesn't have to be complex or anything, so, um, anyway, so, we've got over the pencils and everything, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video, um, so, anyways, here's a little dog I did, and you can see what values, kind of like smooth blend, 
between the values in which I like. And before I wouldn't have been able to do this. Um, but Skillshare is awesome, and I'm gonna, I can't recommend Skillshare enough. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but um, as you see here, the theme of the sketchbook is mainly pencil drawing. This is my like my in between work, uh, drawing between my colored um, watercolor and. Just to have a breather through color or something, I just come to the sketchbook. Um, so, today we're going to be doing um, a girl and her cat. And I'm kind of nervous to do it a portrait, I'm not going to lie. But uh, we're going to take it step by step. And um, this is going to be sped up, obviously. You know, and then point over over it. Um, kind of like how I do my videos now. But um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, hey guys. So I would be a little hard myself um, with this uh, art, art, I guess, um, for the uh, lighting and just for the drawing. And the important thing with light source, um, your drawing, um, I'm still getting used to shading and pencil, so bear with me. I mean, I know that's not an excuse, but. Um, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing when shading the base, so I do need to look at tutorials and things like that. So bear with me uh, with that. Um, I did start off with the lightest pencil uh, for this drawing, so I'm not starting with the darkest because we want to work from light to dark, um, at least. Or I don't know, but I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with this uh, pencil work because I'm still processing. I'm still getting used to the pencil because I'm so used to coloring and going from and using the pen um but anyway um i was kind of lost because i didn't have line art and usually when i have line art i feel like i have to color it so um i hope you guys understand that and this is probably not one of my best works um but if you want to see my other drawings definitely go check out um, my other videos at the end of the video um so anyways um I think this is my B pencil, um, while I was shading the mouth, um, so, again, I mean, it's not one of my best works, and it's not like I'm proud of it or anything, but, um, this is just a quick sketch, quick, uh, drawing, um, this is a, I was basically experimenting, um, with this, uh, drawing, um, basically with shading and everything, you want to consider your light source. And I wasn't really doing that in this video, and I should have. Like, I should have put a sun in the upper corner or something, and go from there. But, um, that's why I'm kind of being hard on myself on this one. But, uh, let me know what you guys think, but be nice about it. Don't be, you know, any, um, the critiques and rude comments are kind of different. So, um, if you guys have any helpful tips on how to shade a pencil, let me know. I'll be happy to... I listen to that. So, uh, this is just me experimenting again. I'm so used to drawing in color. Um, so, I'm starting with my mechanical pencil for the hair uh, for this one as well. Um, so, and then I layered with my darker pencil to try to get the contrast in space um, and everything like that. At least I kind of know, kind of, very, very loosely what I'm doing, but kind of not at the same time. Um, hopefully I, I'm trying to not sound like I'm too down on myself, but, um, again, it's like showing the flaws and showing, and thinking of flaws, I know that my pencil marks need to be a little bit smoother and, um, everything like that, but, uh, the pencil is a little tricky, you know, back when I started drawing, back when I was, um, you know, starting drawing my first year of drawing, I was dedicated to realistic portraits. And honestly, those could be a hit or miss, uh, depending how patient I was with that. And um, if you guys want to see, I don't know if I have any of my realistic work anymore because um, we went through my artwork. Um, so uh, basically, yeah, I started with realistic portraits and then now I've switched my style to cartoons. So I'm um, trying to put the mixture of both. Um, I guess into the drawing. So, anyways, I'm trying to not be too heavy Debbie Downer in this um, sketch, but I am getting used to pencil. So, again, I'm trying to learn new techniques, stretching myself a little bit, and having fun with it. And 
you know, it might not be perfect, but at least I'm learning something at the same time, so, um, there is that as well, so, again, it's just a lot of, um, things at once, I guess you could say, even though I'm trying not to complain, but, um, I hope that that can be helpful for you, and, you know, we all make mistakes. And you might be thinking, okay, yeah, this drawing, oh, it's amazing. But to me, I feel like it's okay. Um, could be better. Need more practice on the pencil. Um, but anyways, uh, I, that's what I dedicated this sketchbook to. My pencil drawing for cartoon work. So I think the video is coming to an end uh, soon. Um, so, yeah. Um, I really don't have much else to say. I think I covered a lot of it. And I hope you guys enjoy it at least um if you you know i guess uh what you could take from it start with the liner pencil build up your tones and use the pencil for the back to get the liner shading um metal shading uh this is not a tip and trick video but uh, i guess once i learn pencil more i can definitely do more pencil tutorials and things like that but that's in the near not near future but like you know um somewhere in the future but not right now but anyways there's more watercolor paints uh coming soon so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe watch the other videos on the screen i'll see you guys next time bye guys